Hey guys, it's Tech Talk for the win, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top jailbroken apps for the iPhone or iPod Touch. The iPad edition will be coming shortly. The first application I would like to show you guys is Android Lock. Android Lock is basically a lock screen in the style of Android style phones, where you can create many combinations such as triangles or anything else. Mine at the moment is a P. If you ever get the need to change your combination, go into Settings. Scroll down to Android Lock XT and press Change Combination. And there you have it. You can draw your old pattern and change it around if you want. The second application I would like to show you guys is called Pogoplank. Basically, this is Pogoplank. It's um, just basically a new home screen where you can cycle through uh, many folders that you have. Um, you can open up new folders and scroll through all the applications you have. And it's basically a great way to organize your applications. Many complaints with pogo planks are basically when you go into an application and you get out, you're left with a blank screen like this. Basically all you have to do is set your settings to double tap to get into music, double tap, get into music, get out, and your pogo plank appears again. It's a great way to bypass that glitch. The third application I would like to show you guys is called SB Settings. Most of you are very familiar with SB Settings. It's basically a great way to um, have certain toggles such as Bluetooth, brightness, data processes, SSH and Wi-Fi where you can turn on and off anything you have. Also you can power off, refresh, and do other cool stuff like include battery percentage or have items in your dock when you don't want people looking for them. The third application is called Winterboard. Basically Winterboard allows you to have different themes on your iPod Touch whether it's a theme like Lush, a forest theme, a theme of your favorite celebrity or sports team. It's a great way to customize your iPod Touch. It lets you change around your background, your battery, um, this little bar up here. Great way to customize your iPod Touch. I highly recommend it. Another application that is very useful is called iFile. iFile is basically um, an application that allows you to go into your iPod Touch directory and search for any files um, and edit them, record them, and anything like that. You can go into mobile applications, look up all the applications, change around some scores if you want to get into all that, and basically that's iFile. I find it very useful if you're into like downloading files from Safari without using like iDownload and stuff. Basically, it's a very useful app. Another very useful app is called iBlue Nova. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you heard of the application iBluetooth. I personally find iBlue Nova a lot better. It basically allows enables you to transfer files between iPod Touches and iPhones uh, where previously that uh, service was not available. You can transfer files such as music, application, photos, videos, etc. It's a very great app and I'm sure any of you will find it useful. The next application I want to talk to you guys about is called GPOS Phone. Basically, it's for all you gamers who are looking for a bit of entertainment. It's a very good entertainment app. You can play games such as Mario, Sonic, Pokemon. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in that stuff. Basically, it's for kids, I don't know, younger than 12. Um, it's a very good application. I really recommend you guys go and buy it. I'll have all the repos in the description. I currently don't have anything installed to show you guys, but um, really great app. Please go check it out. The next application I want to show you guys is probably the most useful applications, uh, one of the most useful applications you will find, and this is called YourTube. Basically, it's not even an application, it's an add-on onto YouTube, and it's pretty cool because um, if you go into my videos, and uh, you go into my Infinity Blade game review, and you watch it, you subscribe to me, you comment, because it's so awesome, and then, right here, there's a little button that says download video. High or low quality, it will jump into here and it will already start downloading in your download section. It's a pretty cool app. I really recommend it. 
The next application I want to show you guys is not really an application, it's actually an add-on or tweak to your home screen springboard, and that is called InfiniDock. Most of you are pretty familiar with it. Um, it basically allows you to scroll your dock and add as many icons to appear at the bottom as possible. Very cool tweak, it can be customized in the settings application on your home screen. Basically, you just go in down here to your middle, InfiniDock. And from here you can customize anything you want. You can change the icons per page, maybe to two if you want. And it goes into effect immediately. It's very cool. Really recommend it. The next application is also another tweak. And it's a great way to customize and shorten down the clutter of your springboard. Basically, it lets you have unlimited icons in uh, one folder. The app and tweak itself is called Infinite Folders. Basically, it looks like a regular folder. But if you look closely, you can actually scroll through and add as many applications as you want. Really recommend it, and please go ahead and install it. The next application I want to show you guys is called MyY. Basically, this is only for iPhone and iPad 3G users, um, but it uh, allows you to use tethering on your iPhone or iPad. Basically, you can just go uh, start your trial, and after you reboot, um, it will reboot itself and you can tether on your iPhone or iPad. Basically this means that um, it will create its own Wi-Fi network for you if you're on a computer or an iPod touch that you'd like to access the internet. It will allow you to access the internet very fast using the speed of your iPhone or iPad. The next application and one of the last is called iProtect. Basically, um, if you have some photos of your family or basically a game that you don't not that you don't want uh, your friends or your kids or someone accessing it, um, you can always enter a passcode zero 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 zero. Enter safety word b b b b and save it. Basically, you can um, dis disable home, home screen double tapping, search requests, you can lock all the applications, and basically, um, it's a very useful app, basically, if you don't want people accessing your personal stuff. The next application I would like to show you guys is called Boss Paper. Basically, Boss Paper is a pretty cool application that allows you to have a basically a picture slideshow running in the background of your springboard basically all you have to do is enable it go to individual pictures add some uh, maybe go from your camera roll add some whatever you want and then basically after a simple respring um, your iPod Touch or iPhone will now be cycling through a pretty cool slideshow um, of all your favorite pictures of yourself, your family, whatever. And it's a very good iPod uh, trick for your iPhone or whatever. And guys, the last and final application is called iBroke. If you're tired of your friends asking always to play your games, to go on the internet, this is uh, something that will surely keep them away from you. Basically, it has two methods of destruction, smash and zap. Smash doesn't look that realistic, but basically it shows you your lock screen as a pretty good slide to unlock thing. Basically, it shows you it, and when you press it, it cracks. It also has a pretty cool sound to it when you press it. It's not that realistic, but the next one surely is. It's called zap. And when you slide to unlock, basically this is what happens. As you can see, you can still move the things as it was real. But it has a pretty cool effect. And, I mean, this is the greatest gimmick, one of the greatest gimmicks I have ever seen. So guys, those are my top jailbreak apps. If you enjoyed them, please comment, rate, subscribe. For more videos, I will definitely have more up. And guys, thanks for watching, and tune in next time. This is Tech Talk for the Win, and I'm signing off.